Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's up, what's up, man? Welcome back to my channel, man. I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that like button and comment down below. Let's go. It's uh, not fun to be single at 41. I was married for 10 years. I'm divorced, I got two children. It's hard to start again after marriage. It's hard to really like look at somebody and go, hey, maybe something nice will happen. You just don't know too much about life to have any optimism. Because I know even if it's nice, it's going to lead to shit. I know that if you smile at somebody and they smile back, you've just decided that something shitty is going to happen. <laughs> You might have a nice couple of dates, but then she'll stop calling you back and that'll feel shitty. Or you'll date for a long time and then she'll have sex with one of your friends or you will with one of hers and that'll be shitty. Or you'll get married and it won't work out and you'll get divorced and split your friends and money and that's horrible. Or you'll meet the perfect person who you love infinitely and you even argue well and you grow together and you have children and then you get old together and then she's gonna die. <laughs> Oh, that dude crazy. Bro, he crazy. That's the best case scenario. <laughs> is that you're gonna lose your best friend and then just walk home from D'Agostino's with heavy bags every day <laughs> and wait for your turn to be nothing also. It's true, everything that makes you happy is going to end at some point, and nothing good ends well. It's like if you buy a puppy, you're bringing it home to your family saying, hey, look, everyone, we're all going to cry soon. Look at the, what I brought home. I brought home us crying in a few years. <laughs> Here we go. Count down to sorrow with a puppy. <laughs> a dog when I was a kid and we had to put him to sleep because he had a, a tumor on his snout and I remember I was home when the vet called and said yeah that's a malignant tumor that he's got to go and I was like well can we fix it and he goes I'd have to I'd have to just remove his whole snout and then he'll just have this weird round furry head that doesn't look <laughs> like a dog <laughs> and it will ha you'll ha he can only eat with a straw but you can't teach a dog to suck through a straw <laughs> so he'll just die of being stupid and having a round <laughs> head so I think you should just kill him that's what I recommend <laughs> like okay well should we make an appointment for a few weeks from and they, I swear to God the guy goes no just bring him over I'm not doing anything I'll kill him right now <laughs> just bring him over now why wait I'm not, I'm, I'm not busy so I bring the dog to the vets and I remember I'm holding the dog and he sticks him full of a crazy amount of morphine or the right amount if you're trying to kill a dog with it and my dog dies and then I left him there because I mean it was arranged I didn't like sneak out and leave my dog we had no money so I left my, and I asked the vet, I made the mistake of asking the vet, what are you going to do with my dog? And he said, uh, he just goes in a mass grave. And I was like, what's that like? And he goes, that's just a big pile of dead dogs. <laughs> so, that night, I remember, it was raining, and I had this nightmare that my dog woke up from the morphine and found himself in a pile of dead dogs and crawled out past the dead cat pile. And then he just walked, and it was thunder and lightning, and he was you know, like one of those miraculous dogs that you read about in Reader's Digest, and he like, made his way home, and he scratched on the door, and we open the door, and there he is, and we go, there, he's here, look, he's back, and then we realize we just gotta do it again, gotta take him back, <laughs> gotta do it again. Still got a tumor on his snout. <laughs> and the dog's like, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> Can I spend the night? Jesus. <laughs> so that's why it's hard to start dating, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, this is the end of the video. Hey, bro. Hey, Barry. Hey. It was a dope. I get. I get. Hey, I get the message. <laughs> it's just how life works. Don't nothing in. Uh, don't nothing always end well. It really don't. You could be. It could be happy. You could start out happy. Guess what? Eventually, shit. Sometimes the shit end terrible. Like the, Like like I always say. Every road. Every road have come to an end. 
like 55, eventually 55 gonna turn to something else. Or eventually I-10 gonna turn to something else. Or every road come to the end. I get the picture. I'm out.